Hello guys, welcome to uh, Warren's Model Aircraft. Just a quick update on this um, BF109F fighter plane. Um, I've put the um, primer on. Um, also, I was using um, this primer, which is actually an acrylic primer, and I found it to be um, a bit weak. It seemed to dry with a, like a like a rubbery texture to it um, and it, when I was putting the Tamiya tape on to, to mask up for painting it seemed to like peel off come off with the Tamiya paint um, so I, I actually bought some um, Hummel enamel grey light grey primer and that came the other day so I actually put that applied that to the um, BF 109F and it because it's enamel it actually gives a harder coat to it and it's great it hasn't pulled any of the tape off whatsoever so I do recommend Hummel primer that's number one I really recommend it and it's really thick in the tin as well so you can thin it down with thinners and it will it will last you for quite a while to be honest looking at it you'd probably get you probably do if you're doing say 148 scale fighter planes you'd probably get about over 10 out of it or more than that to be honest <laughs> right now i'll give you a quick look on this um mesh smith what i've um, done on it just have a quick slow potato after me waffle <sighs> right here we go <laughs> Right. It's in position. Right. There we go. So I get this in a better position. Right. So that's um actually um Hummel sixty five. The sky colour. I've actually um, done the. Um, you can actually see where I've done the um, black panel lines in there, and there's what I've done on the side. Now, as you can see, I've um, put all the sprayed the panel lines there because it gives it a better effect when it's painted because it, it creates that sort of shadow gives it that sort of shadow effect gives it a bit more realism to it it doesn't have to be very accurate when you do it but I always do mine quite neat even though you don't need to I was actually thinking of experimenting with one of my other, other models actually doing the lines really accurately by um, masking taping them and then spraying it so the lines are absolutely straight I know it sounds a bit OT but I just want to see what it looks like when you do do that to be honest there we have it um, there's a bit of change of plan with this um, <clears throat> what it was is the engine block there and you can have um, the casing on the one side here you can have that on and then you can have this case in here lifted up with like a a metal lever what's like holding holding the um, casing up but to do with fitting issues and everything I was thinking of doing this anyway having no casing on it at all so you know but then I actually started to try and put the casing on and I've got like five mil gaps it it's it's ridiculous and I can't put filler in a five mil gap it, it, it won't look right so what I've decided to do is have the whole engine block open on both sides so that's what I'm going to do with that and to be honest when there's 34 parts to an engine block and there's all that detail and paintwork gone into it I'd rather it be open anyway to be honest so that's what I'm going to do with that Right, I'll turn this back over because twice I've done that now. I've got no sponge. 
so it'll scratch the paintwork off so right so that this baby is all ready now I've just got a I've just got to mask it up now on the underneath bits then turn it over and then I can start putting the um, the tropical or desert paint on the other side so the next time you see it that'll be done I would have put a, a matte coat of varnish on both sides then I'll put the decals on or decals whatever you want to call them and um, that'll be the state the next stage of when I do my next update right there was one other thing I was going to show you now I can't remember what it was now oh, I've forgotten now so I'll have to do it next time thanks for watching anyway guys um, and I'll see you soon cheerio